Sorry about that. Uh, despite have putting it on battery saver and saying it two hours, uh, it died on my phone camera died. The other disadvantage. Anyways, uh, the rare was Augur of Autumn. One and two green for the two three human druid. Look at the top card of your rivalry at any time. Play lands from the top of your rivalry. Coven. The new mechanic. As long as you control three or more creatures with different powers, you may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Honestly, a uh, consideration for my Omnath deck. Ormondal the Con Corruptor. Queer Shot, Field of Ruin, Curse of Obsession. Every magic player. <laughs> Four and a red. At the beginning of Enchanted Player's Draw Step, that player draws two additional cards. At the beginning of Enchanted Player's End Step, that player discards their hand. Beto Gangor. Oh! Huh. Speak of, Ormdahl. Speak of the devil, and arrive he shall. Because we got Jaren Corrupted Bishop. Two and a black for the 2 3 legendary human cleric. When it enters the battlefield or another non token human you control dies, lose one life, create a 1 1 white human creature token. Creature humans gain lifelink at the beginning of your amp step. If you have exactly 13 life, pay 4 and 2 black. Transform Jaren into Ormdahl the Corruptor. Flying trample lifelink, sack another creature, draw a card. Also got Sludge Monster. 3 and 2 blue for a 5-5 five five horror when Sludge Monster attacks. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, put a slime counter on up to one other target creature. Non-human, non-horror creatures with slime counters on them lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 2-2. Two -two. And Worn Power Stone. But yeah, basically I had to make some chain adjustments to make sure I can uh, record and charge my phone. Soul Guide Griff. Purifying Dragon. Sacred Fire. Ah, another adversary. Spectral. One in blue for a 2-1 spirit. Flash flying. When it enters, pay one in blue a number of times. Put a 1-1 one -one counters on adversary. Then up to that many other target artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. Phase out. Foil battle for dominance. And a elemental token. Scab Wrangler, Forest, Plummet, Soul Rise Cavalier, Sunset Revelry, Visions of Dread, Two and a Black, Target Opponent puts a creature card of their choice from the graveyard on the battlefield under your control. Flashback, Eight and Two Black, Costs X less to cast this way, where X is the greatest mana value of a commander you own on the battlefield or in the command zone. Uh, depends whether or not, uh, commander tax counts. Heirloom Mirror. Liza, Forgotten Archangel. Two, two white and a black for the four or five legendary angel, flying lifelink. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, return that card to the, to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Ooh, foil suspicious stowaway. One in blue for a one one human rogue werewolf. Can't be blocked when it deals damage. Draw a card, then this card a card. Becoming a seafaring werewolf. Still can't be blocked, and when it deals damage to a player, draw a card. So yeah, at least in terms of Magic Lord, kind of good to see that the uh, Liza pretty much is still alive. Kind of a wonder where she was during the events of uh, Shadows and Eldritch Moon.
Foolish Procession, Casting Naturalist, Morbid Opportunist, Early Breaker, Geist, Fame, Geist Flame Reservoir, 2 and red. For an artifact, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put a charge counter. Remove any number of charge counters. Deal that much to any target. Play that card this turn. Larder Zombie. The Fairy who slows the sunset. There we go. Fading Hope. Dissipate. Neville Blast Intruder. Outland Liberator. Okay, yeah, so it's better to... Hmm. Dire Stain Rampage. One red-green. Destroy artifacts, enchantment, or land. If a land will destroy this way, its opponent may search up their library for up to two basics. Put them on the battlefield twice, then shuffle. Otherwise, search the library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle. Foil Hauler. Forest. Oh, and our, our card is Arwen Moon's Fury. Ooh. The altered art. Was expecting the regular. Gavney Dawn Guard. Dawn Hard Wardens. The Mentor. Patrol. Scoundrel. Ooh, Champion of the Parish. One black for a 1-1 one, one zombie. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter. The zombified version of... I forgot it, but it's the Innistrad one that was a human. No, not Champion of Lamb. Holt, that was 1 in 2 green. Unblinking Observer. Ah, jeez. He, he was given the... Quack or Gorn tr torture treatment. Which Blade Stitch Scab. Corpse Cobble. Mystic Skull. Champion of Alms. Angel Fire Ignition. One in red-white for a sorcery. Put two one counters on target creature. Gain Vigilance. Trample Life Wink. Indestructible in Haste. Flashback of two in red and white. Faithful Mending. Firmament Sage. Firmament Sage. Obsessive Astronomer. Bird Admirer. Breaker. The Celestus. If it's neither day or night, it becomes day as the as it enters the battlefield. Tap it to add mana of any color. Three. If it's night, it becomes day. Otherwise, it becomes night. Activate only a sorcery. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one life. You may draw a card if you do discard a card. Got the random seven emblem. 
No maximum hand size. Untamed pup. Foil forest. Moon silver key. Lunar frenzy. Tavern ruffian. Static awakener. Oh, regular rock fall veil. Again, and our tapped unless you control two or more lands. Oh, hey, head foil head witch mask. Now I can def. Now I got a one I can put in our set deck to bling it out. Oh, Tovar. Regular art or cool, cool art. Gotcha. Flesh Taker, Audrix Outrider, Overwhelmed Archivist, Smoldering Egg, one in red for a Dragon Egg, zero four Defender. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a number of Ember encounters on the egg equal to the amount of mana spent to cast that spell. Seven or more Ember counters removed, then transform the egg into the Ashmouth Dragon. Four four flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, two damage to any target. The dragon does. Foil Siege Zombie. Ooh, okay. Necromancy. Enchantment. You may choose to play Necromancy as an instant. If you do, bury it at the end of turn. When you play Necromancy, choose target creature card in any graveyard. When it comes to play, put that creature into play as though it were just played. And Necromancy becomes a creature enchantment that targets the creature. If it leaves, sacrifice the creature, if I'm pretty sure that's what the phrasing is. Bloodthirsty Adversary. Ah, right. The red one in the cycle of adversaries. Contortionist Troop. Join the dance. Triska Decafile again. Gale Drifter. Into a wind. Whale Drifter. Anyways, again, Triska Decafile. One three. One blue. No maximum hand size. Win the game if you have exactly 13 cards in hand, so you can respond to your upkeep by playing an instant. Because you can respond to the trigger, and then when it resolves, if you have exactly 13, automatically win. Ritual of Hope. Cathar's Call. Now I don't even... Now, uh, I guess I... Uh, debatable whether or not to get the zombie deck now. Got Will Help the Rod Cleaver. Two and white black. And blue black for the 3-3 three, three legendary zombie warrior. Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decayed, create a zombie 2-2 two, two zombie with decayed. At your end step, you may sack a zombie. If you do, draw a card. Graveyard Trespasser. Ward of Discard a card. When it enters battlefield or attacks, exile up to one target card from graveyard. If it was a creature, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Becoming the Graveyard Glutton. When it enters battlefield or attacks, exile up to two tar cards from graveyard. For each creature card, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Still probably going to buy it for the reprints, though.
Storm Skrillex, Seize the Storm, Arcane Infusion, Croaking Counterpart. One in green blue for a sorcery to create a token copy of target non frog creature, except it's a 1 1 green frog. Cigar to Splendor. Island, Ride of Oblivion, Grizzly Ghoul, okay, on Burial Rites, return target card from your graveyard to battlefield, Lord of Ovenwald, Swamp. Defend the Celestis, Borrowed Time. Fangblade, Regard. Regular Art of Old Stick Fingers. Again, Golgari X. Down to the last three. Let's see what we get. Sunrise Cavalier as the art. Thermal Alchemist. Catholic Pyre. Rockfall Veil. Memory Deluge. Two and two blue for instant to look at the top X cards of your library with Xing the amount of mana spent to cast a spell. Two to hand, rest of the bottom library in random order. Foil rejuvenator. Oh, oh god. Holy shit. Got kindred discovery. Three and two blue for the enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Draw a card when the creature you control of the chosen type. Enters. Now that's a spicy rare. Might uh, be the gold, be the gold medal in this uh, last three. Natural Moonrise. Diagraph Rebirth. Dreadhound. Visions of Ruin. Each opponent sacrifices an artifact. Reach artifact, sacrifice this ray, create a treasure token. Flashback. Aid into red. X less to cast his way, X greatest mana. Oh, right. Uh, the. Ooh, we got Deserted Beach. Taps for white and blue and enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more lands. Guess we got the Silver Medalist since I got a different, uh, a different land. But hey, at least uh, my Dinosaurs, Omnath, and my Surok deck have a Rockfall Veil. Dryad's Revival. Loyal Griff, Dual Craft Trainer, Hound Tamer, Devoted Graft Keeper, Village Watch, Shipwreck Marsh. So we got a tie for uh, silver, pretty much. All right, that's it. Uh, that's going to be Innistrad Midnight Hunt Set Booster and Pre-Release Kit. 
I am off to enjoy uh, Oshawa Community Day, which uh, seems fitting. Anyways, laters.